well. What what are the biggest differences, maybe in terms of what of the opponent that you were facing? The you know that was largely seen as well. That was kind of a fluky result. I'm not sure this one was as fluky. Uh, no, today Mexico was a better team. Um, yeah, and the last time that we lost to Mexico was in 2010, and honestly, it was yeah, it was on a baseball field um, in Cancun with. Um, things being thrown on the field and, you know, more of a long ball situation. And um, Mexico just beat us all around today with um, their aggression, with getting um, to the first and second balls, with executing set pieces, throw-ins, restarts, whatever it was. Um, they did that very well. Um, and we never had the chance to really dictate the rhythm and the tempo of the game um, and we could never really get out of I think them dictating the tempo. Over the past few years there's been kind of this narrative that the rest of the world is catching up to the United States. Do you kind of see it tonight as evidence of that and how does the U.S. kind of get back to that top dog? <laughs> um, I mean of course women's football is just getting better and better in general. We've seen that with all of the leagues around the world, um, just, you know, being able to um, have players play, you know, all year round and rather than, I mean, I just remember 2012, they're not even being a league in the U.S. and, um, and you know, in England and Mexico, there just hasn't um, been a league around, like leagues around for that long. And I think now you're seeing just the results of players, um, being invested in and playing year-round, having the resources um, like the men have always had. And so, of course, you're going to see just the competition continue to elevate on the international level. I mean, people say that everyone's catching up with the U.S. Like, of course, and that's what that's what women's football, like, that's what needs to happen in women's football. But, yes, do we want to stay on top? Absolutely. But, um, but we, we have to continue to have an edge. And right now, today, we didn't have does, that. does that mean, Alex, that maybe fans have to, you're not going to win 100 games in a row anymore? Maybe, and it's better if you don't because that means football's gotten better. Do we maybe have to change the way we look at this now? Um, I mean, I think that over the last five years or so, you've just seen, um, it just even in CONCACAF in general, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, was way different with the score lines um, than it is today. And I, I think uh, fans are seeing that. People are seeing that. Um, the, just all of the all of the teams are continuing to improve and evolve and can compete at the highest level. You know, even if it's not tacti- technically, it's tactically or it's mentally or it's physically or it, you know whatever it may be. Pl- teams are executing their game plan um, against top teams in the world, and they're becoming simultaneously becoming better and so yeah there's there's not going to be a hundred game undefeated streak um i don't think anymore i don't i don't know if something like that is going to be existing nowadays because um from the bottom to the top it's just there's just not that much of a gap anymore um but at the same time like i still believe in this team so much and kind of the depth that we have the young players that are coming up I I see them and think of them as some of the best players in the world that will continue to just dominate on this on this level for 10 or 15 years um, so I'm excited for the evolution of that but tonight it just wasn't it Thank last you. one last one how, uh, how does this experience help going into the knockout round well, my hope is that we turn it around. We learn from uh, a lot of our mistakes and kind of lack of um, execution tonight, just across the board, um, set pieces, aggression, um, decisiveness, um, passing, um, decision, decision making. Uh, but obviously, you know, things aren't fixed in five days. But at the same time, I think it was a huge wake up call, and um, I'm really hopeful that all the players kind of understand that. They all know that the last time that we lost to Mexico was 14 years ago, but obviously um, there's been some games that we've dropped in the last year or two that are just unacceptable. So um, I am hopeful and optimistic for this, for this next game. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thanks. Thanks.